Iron sulfide can impact oil and gas production in many ways. Baker Hughes offers the technology solutions to fit your needs and help you control it. The iron in a formation is usually a corrosion byproduct, but also can be naturally occurring. The sulfur in the formation is usually the result of sulfur reducing bacteria, but sulfur also can be naturally occurring. When sulfur and iron meet under the right circumstances, they form iron sulfide, which is right where the problems for the operators start. Iron sulfide can cause production problems by depositing in and near the perforations. These deposits can restrict the flow of production fluids. Iron sulfide can also be a significant cost driver as it builds up on close tolerance equipment like rod pumps and submersible pumps. The deposits cause excessive wear as well as pump failure. The deposits also build up on the walls of the tubing resulting in lost production and additional time and expenses to clean up. Wherever iron sulfide deposits form, there is also a higher risk of under deposit corrosion. This type of damaging corrosion can cause leaks, shutdowns and costly equipment replacement. As the production fluid flows out of the well and into the free water knockout, the oil wet iron sulfide can cause a pad layer between the oil layer and water layer. During production, this pad layer can grow and flow over, resulting in a contaminated oil tank. Meanwhile, the water wet iron sulfide will fall to the bottom of the oil tank and deposit. Corrosion can form under this deposit and threaten the integrity of the tank, resulting in either costly repair or replacement of the tank for the operator. Similar iron sulfide related problems can be caused in the heater treater and the separation vessels. Frequent failures are caused because of iron sulfide deposits on the fire tube. And it doesn't stop there. The iron sulfide can also flow over to the water tank and cause contamination and corrosion issues. If it has not been eliminated earlier, iron sulfide in the water being used for reinjection can plug the injection well and have an adverse effect on the production requiring costly acid jobs. Baker Hughes offers treatment options to fit the needs of operators and help eliminate or control these iron sulfide issues. One option is batch treatment of iron sulfide dissolver down the annulus to treat existing deposits. As the treatment is applied, the chemical mixes with the production fluid and dissolves the iron sulfide deposits as it passes by. Once the deposits are cleaned up, Baker Hughes experts can recommend iron sulfide dispersant options that can be injected upstream of the iron sulfide formation. These dispersants help control the agglomeration of particles by keeping them in suspension and prevent deposition by allowing them to move through the system. Similarly, in the free water knockout and other tanks, iron sulfide dissolvers can be added to slowly dissolve the pad layer and deposits. This action helps to minimize the probability of bad oil due to carryover and avoid under deposit corrosion issues. If injection wells have become damaged due to iron sulfide contamination, Baker Hughes has solution options for dissolvers to clean them up as well as dispersants to keep the wells clean. For more information about iron sulfide programs to fit your needs, contact the experts. Contact Baker Hughes.